Hi, right, in this video, I'm going to show you how I modified a standard transit mount trolling motor with wireless throttle and gearbox steering with rotational stops. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the main parts I'm going to be using in this project. This is a 4 inch by 4 inch corner brace or L bracket and it already comes with holes drilled in it. These are little 1 quarter by 20 insert threaded knobs and it's got a nice smooth edge on the outside that will work good for one of the stops. And this is just a 1 quarter by 20 stainless steel screw and since I don't have any all thread what I'm going to do is measure the length that I need for this project and then just cut off the excess. This is a view of the stock depth collar for a Minn Kota trolling motor mounting bracket and it has the thumb screw here and inside here is a little nut and so by loosening and tightening this bracket or collar that sets the depth of the shaft and the prop. So what I'm going to do with my setup is completely remove this, add my all thread through here and then install a knob on either end. This is what I finally came up with for the thumb screw rotational stops. The length of the 1 quarter by 20 section turned out to be 1 and 1 8 inches in length. And then I put a little bit of epoxy in one of the knobs to hold it tight. That way I only have to tighten one of the knobs instead of two. This is how I attach the L bracket to the trolling motor mount. First I just laid it in here without drilling any holes so that this top edge here butted up against the back of the gearbox. Then I marked and drilled this hole here for a 1024 bolt and by doing the front one first it raised up the bracket so it's level and there's a gap in there and you need to fill it with a bushing or with washers or something else and that will give you the desired setup so you just repeat for the other side. Both brackets and the dual knobs have been installed so coming up close you can see the dual knobs there and there's one of the brackets there and I just filled the gap with a rubber gasket and everything fits fine as you can see up in here that it is flush with both sides of the gearbox. This is my test setup for the transit mount trolling motor. I have my power box as I used in the previous videos I did for this. Everything is powered up. I have my wireless remote turned on and now I'm going to turn on the ESC for the gearbox steering and we'll run the test. It's a stop. It's another stop. Back, hits the stop again. And there we go. So this works as it should. This is a close up view of the stops as they're working during the test. Everything is still powered up. So let's go ahead and run it again. And there it is. I just wanted to mention a couple of things about this setup. This is a swivel cap that I made in another project and I will put the 
video link for that in the narrative section. And this cap right here that hides all the inner teeth gears and all that kind of stuff, all that is is an aerosol spray cap. I drilled a one and one eighth inch hole in it and slides right over. It fits right inside this lip and it gives it a really nice look. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.